Chris Matherly, aka known as the Mushroom Whisperer, and I'm Lavina Ray. So what we do is we go out all over the United States and even actually outside the United States and we hunt guided mushroom tours. Uh, about mushroom hunting and it's, it's gotten to be such a popular uh, thing to do. It's fun, it's like adult Easter egg hunting um, and we, we show how to do it and we, we do all the, the guiding and the, uh, the, the... And when you find your first one you have no idea how excited you will be. You have no clue. When you see that little sucker sticking out of the ground, you're like, whoa! Yeah, here he is. Yeah. It's, it's very fun. It's so fun. It's a and lot of, bring your it's, children. It's, it's a lot it's of fun. fun. I, I've had people come to the parades that, that uh, swam across Al Alcatraz, the, cha the channel, and traveled, right. traveled the world and all sorts of things. And they said they on had... On a backpack and never has so much fun in their they life. They never, never had as much fun as on the parade. We have a lot of fun. It's so, right. it's so unique and fulfilling. Um, you just go out in the wilderness and, and there's... there's to, like, to be able to just go into the woods and forage for, for edible things and then cook them up and have a feast is just and a, then you cook. an awesome thing. There's and no, then you nothing cook. Nothing like it. There's nothing, nothing like it. it. You have no idea. But you're getting ready to know because we're going to have, have the show and it's going to be awesome. And it's called The Mushroom Whisperer. The Mushroom Whisperer. We, we go all over the country looking for different species of mushrooms and other edibles and uh, I'll guide all the people during the day and then I cook up a big feast at, at, at night and use the mushrooms. And it's yummy. Very, very unique flavors and uh, things you can't buy in the store. And, and, uh, uh, everybody... Yeah, we're not talking about portobellos. Mm -mm. These are morels. Morels, chanterelles, porcini, um, all sorts of things, oyster mushrooms, uh, truffles. Uh, we, we do it all, and, and I cook them up and do a, do a big dish. I have a, a lot of uh, concoctions that I come up, and every, everybody seems to just go nuts over the cooking and everything. So, Let me know what you're making there, Chris. We've got chicken quesadillas, yeah. chicken and morel quesadillas uh, with uh, cheese. we going to put sauteed morels on there. We're going to put some chicken. A little bit of pico. Baby over. Put a nice set of lettuce. Voila. And we got sour cream. Sour cream, guacamole, and, and pico. pico. I, I started the mushroom club in 1999 and um, I've got over a thousand members now. MorelMushroomHunting.com and uh, I've written a book on morels. This is the book that you need to have, okay? Chris Motherly wrote this, okay, and I edited it, okay, it's Morel Mushroom Hunting Secrets, so. But you can get some of the most unique flavors and medicinal qualities of, of wild mushrooms that, that you, you just cannot even imagine. Uh, very unique flavors and, and they're actually really healthy for you. Some of them actually shrink tumors, lower blood pressure, build your immune system and lots of other things. It's such a, a really neat thing, it's probably, I'm sure it's going to be uh, a mushroom that they where they find the cure of cancer just like penicillin is actually a fungus yeah that's where, what we're out here doing teaching all the medicinal qualities all of the good uh, the good edibles out there and like I said when we go on a foray we do things like fiddleheads and coal miners lettuce and uh, you know just all sorts of things wild asparagus and fiddleheads I call them fern gullies mm -hmm. fern gullies I yeah. call them fern gullies mm -hmm. and what did we come across a fern gully fern gully well it's well, a, it's not really a fern gully, but that's what I call it. A fiddlehead. A, a fiddlehead. Fiddle. A fiddlestick. Whatever. And, uh, hey, I found a truffle. Yep. I don't know how I found it, but I found a truffle. Didn't I? You sure did. I have no clue. Okay, what do we have here? What we have here is failure to communicate. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, we have a truffle. And how I, did I that don't, come from? Well, I found it, and I just sliced it. And I don't know how I found it because I don't even know how to find truffles, but apparently I did. So, yeehaw for me. All right, well, we're going to 
use your $30 truffle there. Yeah, well, and, I would rather have $30. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use your $30 truffle and put it on top of the pasta. Okay. Sounds good to me. At least I'll eat. Enough truffle for one, anyway. This, uh, this program could be a weekly thing and, and uh, we can travel the country on, on the search for some unique mushroom that's a, that's a, a delicacy and we can, uh, we, can, we can guide you to go uh, find it and then I'll cook it up at the end in a, in a unique mushroom cuisine dish. And yummy, it, yummy in your tummy. It'll be something like you'll, you'll never ever forget, I can tell you that. Exactly. Perfect specimens. Clean as could be, look at that. Absolutely clean as could be. The Italians are going to be envious tonight. It's Green King Beliefs. Lucaria Licata. I'll watch it in a minute. It's fine. Cluteus Servinus. Suillus. Oyster Mushrooms. Pink tip coral. Man on horseback. Morels. And a bee. Right, what do you think about the soup? Soup was amazing. Delicious. How many different kinds of mushrooms did you use in a soup tonight out of curiosity? Eight. Oh, it was so good. Eight different kinds. Wow. Amazing. You like it? Absolutely awesome. Alright, good. Mm. <laughs> this is, this was yet. first class. I uh -huh. really liked you it. Like very good. Yeah. yeah, you can maybe put well, two. We're gathering dandelion greens. Cause what do you have, mean dandelion greens? I don't understand. Not the flower, just the green, just the leaf part. And we're okay. gonna, we've already gathered some coal miner's lettuce, and we're going to put a, put the two together and make a salad tonight. Oh, well, what just well, what else do you put in it? Uh, you put uh, apple. Apple vinegar, uh, green onions, bacon bits, and uh, uh, some mustard, dry mustard if possible, but you can use regular mustard, and sugar, brown sugar or white sugar. Okay, so is it a sweet salad? It's a, kind of sweet and sour because of the vinegar. Oh, okay. Well, I can deal with vinegar. I don't know about the brown sugar. But I guess I'm going to try it, huh? Mm -hmm. I think you'll like it. That ain't enough, but we can find some more on up here, I think. Okay, we have, we have dandelion greens and we have miner's lettuce, all right? We have vinegar, uh, vinegar, brown sugar, and mustard that gets poured over top of this and wilts it. Then you add some onions and green scallions and you add bacon to it, and that's your, that's your salad. All gorilla mushroom hunting secrets. Secrets. And now uh, we know all the secrets. We know the secrets, but we're Don't not going to tell you. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> we will not tell you. Whoa. Boot, there it is. And we are getting ready to have a feast over here. And we're going to bread them and fry them. And... We're washing them off, throwing them in flour, and we are going to cook them up, and it's going to be quite delicious. Oh, come over here, I guess. This cheese, delicious morel mushroom. Cheese covered morels. The first time ever had cheese on them. Mm -hmm. I have never. You never okay. had them over a campfire either. I have not. I definitely want the cheese ones. Mm -hmm. So you can have the rest. I'm going to take the ones mm. with the cheese. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe I am in love mm -hmm. with morel mushrooms with cheese. Mm-hmm.